Saturday will mark 20 years since the September 11th attacks. That morning, FBI agents were forced to evacuate their New York headquarters after the World Trade Center collapsed. They transformed a nearby parking garage into the Bureau's new command center. With few resources, they launched one of the most important and complex investigations in U.S. history. Tom Selleck narrates the documentary, titled The 26th Street Garage, the FBI's untold story of 9-11. Here's an early look. The 26th Street Garage is the FBI's greatest untold story of 9-11. Debris is falling from the sky. All of the buildings in the immediate area were being evacuated. You have to have a nerve center. And we had to have one very quickly. So I was given the assignment to find a suitable forward command post. We're not going to go any place which is identifiable as being law enforcement or the FBI. And I said it had to be large enough to house a lot of people. I want it secured, and I want it fairly close to ground zero. The agents reluctantly said, well, we could go to the 26th Street garage. At first, I was actually thinking, how the hell is this going to work? When we first got there, SWAT was all setting up and securing the area with razor wire. As agents arrive in droves, FBI logistics teams tow out 500 cars to make room. It was a grease monkey location, but, you know, ugly's OK. No one's looking for, you know, the Waldorf Astoria in the middle of a crisis. They set up the computers. They ran the lines. Banks of telephones, miles of wire. Incredibly, within just a few hours, the garage begins to function as an FBI command post. The purpose of the garage is not only just to act as a communications channel, but to digest all the information coming in. The manifests for the planes, they were obtained fairly quickly from the airlines and started to be vetted out, both through agency files, FBI files, and getting multiple hits on the subjects. Martha Stewart's studio and test kitchens are on the ninth floor. So one day, Martha Stewart is coming up the ramp, and she said, I just want you guys to have something. We would take down food and see the smiles and the weariness of the workers there on that floor. Clues are coming in. And they're all going into a funnel, and the funnel's narrow end is coming into the 26th Street garage. I was involved with a lead group. The lead desk would pass out a packet, you know, like Mission Impossible. You... On 9-11, one of the passports of one of the hijackers was found a block or so from one of the towers, and that was brought into the command center. So, so you were fairly early on were identifying who the hijackers were. Two people who were on the planes. We're looking for them in Yemen. Our government knew that they were in San Diego. Names are going up, whiteboards are being drawn, lines are being connected. Who else is a sleeper cell somewhere waiting for the instructions to attack? What was accomplished out of that garage was nothing short of amazing. That is so fascinating. Joining me now, retired FBI agent Chris Cottis. We just saw her in that clip, working out of that office. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. What happened, Chris, to the FBI's New York office when the World Trade Center towers came down? The, the office actually pulled together very quickly because the office started rallying to organize the investigation right after the first plane hit the tower. There was, so the investigation actually started at that point. Leadership was getting the squads together, assigning people to go down to the site. It was sending different teams to do and go different sections to look at evidence, to assess and secure. So we were already starting to work the investigation and open it from the time the first plane hit. Wow. Now, your initial reaction to moving the Bureau's command center to an auto garage, it was kind of skeptical. So what led to that decision and what concerns did you have at that point? For me, you know, I lived in Manhattan, so and I was familiar with the 26th Street garage was the motor pool for the FBI. So for me, that was a place I went to get my tires rotated, the mirror fixed. You know, living in Manhattan, I had damage to my car all the time. So to hear that the investigation was going to be run from the motor pool, for my mind, was like, how does that even work? I knew there was uh, the FBI fleet of cars and other aspects of our investigative techniques were in there. So it just seemed impossible at the beginning when you first hear it. 
but the uh, support staff and the people charged with getting the garage ready to be the nerve center for the investigation did an exemplary patriotic job in working in the littlest of time to get cars out, run the wires, and set it up so that it was um, a hospitable place to run an investigation. Still a garage, though. Still a garage. So it was the garage. They... <laughs> exactly. But why did they pick that specific location? What was it about it? That location was able to house, because it was a large area, it had the ability to uh, get to very quickly. It was right off the West Side Highway. It was not far from uh, Ground Zero. It was on 26th Street. And it was close to the FBI office itself, which is on Broadway and uh, Duane Street. So it, it actually served all purposes. It was easy to get to from the FBI office. It was easy to get to from Ground Zero. And also importantly, it was easy to get to from the Intrepid, where agents were assigned to work out of, um, to house and rally from there also. So it actually was uh, logistic-wise and a very easy way to go all different directions without much stress. And if you know the West Side Highway, you know that's a straight artery right there. So I can imagine Absolutely. that was easy to get to. And so what could you get done there? And what could you accomplish from that garage office that maybe you couldn't have done elsewhere? From the garage office, we had the ease of movement, actually, easier than if we were in our FBI headquarters office. Had a, a large ramp you could go up. It had everything we needed right there. We had the uh, CIA was amenable. We had the state police. We had the New York City Police Department. We had access with State Department. Everybody was right there within striking distance so we could talk to, get answers extraordinarily quick. Um, where we, if we were at our office, we would have to do uh, a little more process. That process was alleviated by streamlining, by having everyone at the garage. And how did that experience uh, change your perception of the FBI and your fellow agents? I already had, like, the reason I went into the FBI is because it was an extraordinary investigative agency. But watching my fellow workers, and I mean all workers, from agents to support staff, working together, everyone knew their mission. Um, I felt deep love for them. I felt a very familial relationship with them that was deeper than I thought it could go. Um, I felt comforted by their presence. Being in the garage felt like home because I was familiar with it because of the motor pool. But seeing all of your coworkers together in this uh, once in a lifetime catastrophic event uh, made you feel this innate closeness, a telepathic ability to communicate what you wanted and what you needed. You didn't have to explain how you felt. You could see it in your coworkers' eyes. And that was from support staff right down through agent staff. Um, there was a camaraderie that was, uh, to me, surreal and it's intangible, always there, and it stayed with me forever and ever, right through the rest of my career. We thank you so much for sharing. I cannot believe it. It has been 20 years already. My goodness. I, I know. Uh, it's seems shocking. It's it, it really is. And to see that footage, too, and you, it looks a little old, you're like, wow, I can't believe that much time has passed. We thank you so yeah. much for being here and for your service to everything you did for us, uh, Christy Cottis. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your interest. I appreciate it. You got it. Bye-bye. And you can stream the full documentary, 26th Street Garage, the FBI's untold story of 9-11, this Thursday on the Viacom CBS streaming platform, Paramount+. Plus. This is the first documentary produced by our new CBS News content studio, See It Now Studios.